Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Python's Rum Season 2, my friends, on the 22nd episode. And I'm going to say it straight from the off, my friends, today is going to be a talky episode. If you don't like talky episodes, then, you know, you don't have to watch. But today, my friends, while we're going ahead and uh, talking about various bits and bobs, I am actually going to be in the process of trying to install some teleporters. A lot of you guys have been saying, you know, it's about that time, so... Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? So why don't we go ahead and make a little bit of a start on that. So we have ourselves a teleporter here. Now, all we need to do is start making it go all the way across to original spawn because that... Oh, crap. That's where we... Come on! Really? No. Oh, my God. Whoa. Wiring is annoying to put down. Okay, that's brilliant. Good to know. Good to know. Anyways, yeah. Uh, a lot of you guys have been saying we should go and do this, so that's exactly what we're going to go and do, because what it means is there's going to be a lot less time, you know, in terms of me traveling around and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. I mean, it just makes sense, doesn't it? It really, really does. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. I'm doing pretty well. But, uh, yeah, there are certain things I want to talk about regarding Terraria on this channel. Because earlier on today, at the time of me recording this, I put out a series of tweets regarding how Terraria is performing on this channel and uh, how much... Uh, well, not, not really how much, but uh, more to the point that I'll be taking a fairly hefty break from Terraria. Uh, well, hefty dependent on when Terraria 1.4 eventually comes out, which I don't think is going to be for a very, very long time yet. I mean, it hasn't even been officially confirmed yet. I mean, there's been like certain little bits that have been rumored, like a creative mode per se uh, was put on the Terraria wiki as a possible future update for 1.4 but there's been no actual official confirmation that 1.4 is going to be coming i mean they're still working on 1.3.6 which is you know fair enough so yeah anyways i think the best way of me giving you guys some context is to actually go ahead back to original spawn and uh, read out the comment question of the video which is coming from duncan milne you should do little bits of terraria content if you get fed up of playing it like world tours tutorials multiplayer or a new ser new series of some sort whatever you decide to do you have my support 100 percent of the time duncan milne you are the true mvp thank you very much for the support buddy i really do appreciate it and he it brings up a very very good point in that uh, fed up of playing it. It's not quite as strong as that. Like I wouldn't phrase it as I'm fed up of playing Terraria. It's just I need a break. Okay. I need a break. So if you would allow me to indulge in some numbers. I can uh, give you guys some. So, since Terraria started blowing up on my channel way, way, way back in 2014, get this, guys. I have done 24 series of Terraria. 24 Let's Plays of Terraria. I'm including the little sort of mini games that I did with Pedgwin back in the day as well as a little bit of a mini series. There was only six videos, but I'm still counting it. But yeah, 24 series. Just, just really try to get that into your head, okay? How a creator has managed to stick with one game for as long as I have with Terraria is something of an amazing feat, in my opinion. Most people would probably be fed up of a game after just one playthrough of a game. But uh, actually, uh, not really me. Not really me. I have really, really enjoyed playing Terraria. To the point where I have now done 24 series. This is my 24th series. Python's Realm Season 2. Like I'm going way back to the days of Terraria 1.2. The original Mage playthrough. The original Terraria 1.2.4 Let's Play. The original Mage playthrough. All that sort of stuff. And in total... And this is where <laughs> this is where it really gets serious. The amount of Let's Play videos in total that I have done for Terraria since those days is 636. This is my 637th Let's Play video of Terraria, okay? <laughs> Again, really try to let that number sink into your brains. 636. Oh my goodness me. Again, most people would be tired after like, oh, let's say 50. Like a 50 episode Let's Play. So for me to have done 636, the one thing I have to ask is, 
do you guys who are a bit sort of naysaying like, oh, hey, you should carry on Terraria forever. Do you honestly not think that after 636 Let's Play videos that I deserve a little bit of a break? Hmm? Genuinely? I mean, if your answer is anything other than yes, I think I do deserve just a tiny bit of a break, then, uh, I mean, fair enough to you. You really, really enjoy Terraria content, but uh, maybe, just maybe, the creator of the Terraria content is starting to get a little bit burnt out. And I'm really sorry to report, but that is indeed the case, which is why I stand by my uh, my statement that I made before in that Python's Realm Season 2 is going to be and will remain to be my final Terraria Let's Play until 1.4 potentially comes out, okay? I am continuing to stand by that. I will not be doing any more series on Terraria in Let's Play form until potentially 1.4 comes. At either that point or Terraria 1. Point, not not Terraria 1. Point, Terraria Otherworld coming. If Terraria Otherworld comes before Terraria 1.4, then yeah, I will still make my return. But yeah, I still remain to keep by my statement in that this Let's Play is my final one. So once this one ends, which again, I should clarify, won't be for a long time yet. There's still a lot of things I want to do in this world. Once this Let's Play ends, that is it. I still maintain that. I really, really do. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know, man. It's a difficult thing to talk about without sounding selfish. But in terms of Terraria's relevance in general at the moment, it is at a seriously, seriously low state. It really, really is. And while I love, and I mean this like in the most genuine way possible, while I love the developers of Terraria, They've just taken far, far too long with the updates. They really have. Even to the point, and I can't believe I'm saying this, where even Minecraft is releasing updates more often than Terraria is. Like, Minecraft 1.11 and Minecraft 1.12, they came out within a few months of each other. Two major updates within a couple of months of each other. That's pretty amazing for Minecraft. Now, if only Terraria could catch up, that would be brilliant. You know? I don't know. I don't know. But understandably before that, you know, there were like over a year's worth of waiting time between Minecraft updates. I mean, you know, there was the whole, you know, Minecraft was being bought out by Microsoft, all that sort of stuff. You know, there, 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 there was plenty of stuff going on. There really, really was. But now they seem to have booked up their ideas and they're actually releasing updates on a pretty regular basis. So, you know, it's just one of those things really, isn't it? You know, it would be nice. If we could get more updates, but I understand, you know, maybe there's some internal things going on at Relogic or something or other. And once again, I just want to reiterate that I really do love the developers of Terraria. I mean, for goodness sake, if it wasn't for the developers of Terraria and the Terraria game in the first place, I wouldn't be here right now. I would not be here. I would not be going ahead and being able to do YouTube full time. Terraria was the game that, you know, escalated my channel into the limelight. And, and for that, and, you know, for that, I'm eternally grateful. I am absolutely eternally grateful to the Terraria devs for providing such an amazing game. And somehow, my content just sort of took off. And I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what really caused that. But for every single one of you guys who did subscribe to me back then or have subscribed to me recently because of Terraria, I thank you. Like, don't ever go thinking that I don't appreciate each and every single one of you guys for subscribing to the channel or remaining subscribed to the channel for all of this time. I know that a lot of my current 386,000 subscriber base are probably inactive at this point, but it doesn't mean that I don't appreciate the fact that they subscribed in the first place. Honestly, it does mean the world to me. It, it really genuinely does. So again, I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys very, very much for remaining subscribed to the channel because, you know, even though you may not be active these days, it, it's just... It's just one of those things, you know, the fact that you've done it anyway means the world to me. It does. It really, really does. And once again, just want to reiterate, please don't feel like I'm being like, oh, hey, I'm, I'm doing this for me. I'm, I'm like, I, I don't know. I, I'm struggling to talk about it because, again, I'm nervous. I get nervous when I try to talk about these things because I always fear the, the backlash I may get from it, you know? Maybe that's just me who gets that. I have no idea. But in, in the current YouTube climate... I, I feel like being able to speak your mind is something that's not necessarily favored among creators. Like, the, the moment you actually try to talk about something that's on your mind, 
Like, I don't know. It, it just kind of feels like, oh, hey, maybe I shouldn't have said that. But sometimes, in order to keep your sanity, it's worth talking about these things. Does that make sense to you guys? Like, if you don't talk about it, then you just got to wind up bottling up your feelings and then feeling even worse for it. So... Again, if you would allow me to indulge in some numbers, back in the day, you know, when my channel was starting to take off a little bit, and understandably, you know, 2015 was, in my opinion, when Terraria peaked in its popularity. Back in 2015, I was getting upwards of 70 to 75,000 views within a couple of days on every single one of my Let's Play videos, without fail. And nowadays, I just don't get that. Not anymore. Like, I, I think the last one didn't even get 10,000 views, so I'm not even getting a seventh of the viewership that I was getting before. And for someone to want to continue doing this thing, in the knowledge that Terraria's relevance just in general just isn't up there anymore, it's difficult. It's difficult. And again, I just... I'm not trying to come off as some sort of self-indulgent, selfish person. But again, sometimes these things need talking about. They really, really do. And I apologize if you guys don't agree with me. But sometimes <laughs> it's just a case of observation. You just... You need only look. Oh, hello. Wait, do I have a... Hold on a minute. Do I have a bug net? Ah, damn it. I don't have a bug net on me. Well, damn. Well, I'm going to do something in which case... There you go. <laughs> oh, you guys are annoyed with me right now, aren't you? Sadly, I don't have a merchant nearby, so I wouldn't have been able to get it anyway because he would have despawned by the time I uh, got it. So, uh, yeah. In before I noticed that I do have a bug net. Nope, I definitely don't. Okay, fantastic. That death was justified in which case. <laughs> oh dear. Right, uh, I'll tell you what I do want to do real quick. I will cut away just for a second here because I want to go and get myself some more of these red shingle blocks because they are pretty cool. And I kind of want to stick with the same theme for the central hub area. So, yeah, let me grab some blocks real quick and then we'll continue chatting. Alrighty guys, so here we are back in action. The roof is pretty much done. I've put the teleporters down. They're not quite linked yet, but I'm just in the process of putting in the background walls. So I've got some glass on me as well, so we can make some windows and all is looking good. But anyways, back to the uh, talking topic for today's episode. Before I continue, I just want to say for all of you guys who have been really, really supportive of my decision to take a break from Terraria, I have mentioned it in previous episodes and a lot of you guys seem to be uh, in favor of me doing that. Uh, you know, the vocal vocal minority, uh, as always, are like, hey man, you should be doing Terraria forever, this is what made you, you know, and to that I say, it's true to an extent, but I'd also like to think that maybe my personality was uh, kind of a factor into what made my channel go a little bit more, although I don't know, I don't really know, I don't really, you know, the analytics don't really say, oh hey, they subscribe for your personality, <laughs> Oh dear. But uh, yeah, like I say, for everybody who has been supportive of my decision and for everybody who is supportive of uh, all of my content and my channel, despite all of this stuff, I really, really do appreciate it. You guys are the reason why I continue to do this because you you're just amazing. You really, really are. At the end of the day, if it wasn't for you guys, I, you know, again, I wouldn't be able to do this stuff. So for that, I am eternally grateful. I really, really am. Like, please don't take that for granted. Don't ever think that I'm not grateful because I really, really am at all times. I feel blessed every day that I can wake up, play games, edit, and put up videos for a living. Like, that is the dream, okay? That is the dream. It took me four years to get to the point where I could. June 2015 is when I became a YouTuber full-time. But, you know, here we are today still in 2018, just about able still to scrape up, you know... <laughs> Despite the apocalypse, still just about enough to be able to live comfortably. And that feels okay. It feels good. It does. It honestly feels good. And again, it's due to you guys. And, you know, again, for that, I'm eternally grateful. But, yeah, you know, like I say, 24 series, 636 videos. You know, it's time. Okay? It's time. I feel like I've grown up. I feel like I've grown up. Although, then again, you know, I'm still playing Minecraft. You, you could maybe argue, oh, hey, he's grown up, but he's still playing Minecraft. Like, I've grown up. Maybe I want to do something else with Terraria, uh, which is sort of another thing I wanted to say. You know, Terraria content won't completely go bye-byes when I'm taking a break. Like, every now and again, I may put up, like, a Top X list video or, like, a tutorial. Or if I find something cool, then I'll showcase it to you guys. Or, as the comment question of the video person said, I've been... Uh, it's been on my mind for a little bit, actually, the idea of going back to some of my older worlds and seeing how I've progressed through the years. Maybe I'll put face cam on them so you guys can see my reaction to all of my old builds and all of my old worlds. You know, that could be a cool idea, and it's something which I think I would like 
to do. Is it possible episodes? They are going to be continuing to come out as well. You know, it's just Let's Play stuff. Let's Play stuff will no longer be a thing on the channel until either Otherworld or Terraria 1.4 come out. So, yeah. That's just how it is. It's just how it is, guys. And again, I'm sorry if you guys don't like that, but, you know, patience is a virtue in life. It really, really is. If you guys are patient, then the stuff will come. It will. It genuinely will. But in the meantime, you know, there's plenty of other Terraria content creators out there. You've got people like Chippy, you've got Pedwin, you've got Happy Days. There's all sorts of people still doing Terraria content. You've got Yogg's Cash Shin. They're doing a bunch of uh, freaking Terraria content as well. And yes, I am aware that I just squeaked. I apologize. I'm talking a lot, aren't I? So, you know, kind of makes sense. But anyways, yeah. There's plenty of other people and you know failing that if you do want to go ahead and watch some of my old stuff Then you know there's loads and loads of playlists that you guys could find on my channel Which feature all of my old series so you know if you guys are ever stuck for something to watch then there you go You can go ahead and uh, you can you can watch some of the old stuff. So that'd be amazing in fact But yeah, there we go my friends check it out We've got our first ever teleporter in the world set up and things are looking good Hey to the yeah boys right i'll tell you what i'm gonna do real quick i'm gonna place down a crafting bench and we're gonna put down a sign so we know that this goes over to the meteor base meteor base there we go we need to come up with proper names for these places and i feel like they need to be like funny puns so if you guys have any like funny pun names for the meteor base Blaze for the base. Please leave them in the comments area below. I'd be interested to see what you guys come up with. I know a bunch of you are funny guys. Go on, peeps. I know you've got it in you. I do. I know you've got it in you. Right, in the meantime, why don't we get ourselves another sign done? And before the episodes end, I would quite like to get a teleport going over to my jungle hive base. So let's put a hive base in there. And guys, we're going to make a bit of a start on this thing. So. Yeah, but again, just to reiterate, you know, despite everything I've said today, despite, you know, me taking a break, it's not me saying, oh, hey, I don't like Terraria anymore. It's just, hey, I wouldn't mind a little bit of a break so I could sort of regenerate my creative juices and come back nice and refreshed for when 1.4 or other world comes out. I did the exact same at the end of my original Mage playthrough on 1.2. I took, I think it was like a couple months break and then 1.3 came back and then, you know, I, I was straight back in business. I was. So, you know, I will keep my word. I will keep my word you guys can trust me on that i will come back when 1.4 or other world comes out so yeah it's all good my friends it's all good terraria is not going away by any stretch of the imagination i'm just taking a break from let's plays and that is that so yeah all right let's keep going though let's keep going boys uh i don't know that i'm gonna have enough wires to get myself over to the jungle base sadly but you know we'll get as far as we can we'll get as far as we can and, uh, you know, hopefully we can get a decent amount of the way there. I'm rather a fan of the placement speed of these wires. Like, it's pretty damn fast, isn't it? It's pretty damn fast. I'm definitely a fan of that. Heck yeah. All right, come on. Let's keep ourselves going, boys. Keep ourselves going. Uh, maybe we go down a bit again. Rather like this. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the wiring. Let's get back to original spawn. Luckily, the mechanic is just here. We can get ourselves a whole bunch more wires. Although, sadly, I think that may wipe me out. <laughs> yep. I've got six gold left on the world, my friends. Wiring is expensive. Wiring is actually expensive in Terraria, but, you know, it's worth it, isn't it? It's worth it to be able to teleport around the place, do all sorts of stuffs with traps and all sorts. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's worth it. It really, really is. So, let's continue on. I don't think we're that far away from the place, to be honest, although I could be wrong. Uh, eh, yeah, we got, like, most of the jungle to go through, but you know what? It's going to be worth it, isn't it? It's going to be worth it. So let's get back down here and uh, let's continue this thing on. I think a full stack is going to be enough. I honestly believe that. So, yeah, I don't think we've got too much to worry about at this point. Uh, aside from maybe there being a bunch of freaking jungle mobs and me dying. That would really, really suck. But, uh, you know, it's just one of those things. And, uh, yeah, that's that's great. I had to itch my nose. And in the meantime, a slime decided to say, Oh, hey, you're itching your nose? Hey, man, why don't I go ahead and kill you a whole bunch? No, 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 no. That is very rude. Do you not know how rude that is, sir? Oh, talking of rudeness, you freaking sons of guts. Oh, jeez, man. Oh, my God, I hate these freaking turtles. The so... The so... Huh? Okay. Huh? Okay. Okay. 
I get the message. You want to kill me? But please, please, can we be adults about this? Jeez, man. Oh, god damn it. There's another one. Ah! Oh, okay, and now we're dead. Brilliant! Alright, well, this is gonna be a bit of a pain, isn't it? Well, do you know what? Let's go and get this wiring done. And I think we'll call it there for today. Wow, I just freaking choked on my words there, quite literally. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, there we go. That should be that now done. So if we were to go ahead and let's put our inventory back to normal. If we were to go ahead and jump on this thing now. Yeah, we're back to central spawn. Oh my God, this is so much better. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, this is so much better. This really, really is, my friends. Ah, oh, fantastic stuff. We have some teleporters set up, my friends. It was very, very expensive, but you know what? It was worth it. It's always worth getting a bunch of teleporters set up. And, you know, we've got four more spaces for places to teleport to. So if we decide to set up, like, a sky base or a hell base or a desert base or even a crimson base, you know, there's lots of places we could potentially set up a base, maybe an underground base. Granite? Marble? Lots of places to sell it, my friends. There really, really is. But anyways, guys, before heading off the episode, the final thing I just quickly wanted to say is the Terraria PS4 console video that I did garnered over 4,100 likes, which is the most I have seen in many, many, many years of doing YouTube, honestly. So, guys, thank you very much for the insane amount of support you showed on that. Sadly... I'm afraid I can confirm I won't be doing a Terraria console series. I just don't see, you know, despite the support that was shown on it, I can see myself getting like a few episodes in and then the support just goes down the drain because sadly that's kind of the reality of YouTube really. Like the first episode of any series always gets an insane amount of hype and then 10 episodes in people have just lost interest. Like, you know, it's, it's, there's not really anything wrong with that. It's just, you know, people's attention spans aren't that great, maybe. I don't know. But anyways, guys, I do appreciate it. But sadly, I mean, that's not only, that's not the only reason I'm not going to be doing a Terraria console series. I mean, to be honest, I just prefer the PC edition. It is, in my opinion, superior. And, you know, like I say, I just it just doesn't make sense for me to do a console edition Let's Play for any other reason aside from me trying to get used to the controls. And like I say, I just prefer PC. So I apologize. I really, really do. But I can confirm there won't be a console edition Let's Play coming. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you appreciate me finally addressing all of this stuff. Like I've been wanting to do like a whole video just talking about this stuff for a while now. But again, I've just been sort of in fear of what the backlash slash uh, response would be. That's the reason I don't really like to address this sort of stuff. You know, this is a gaming channel. We like to have fun. I don't like to address these things very much, but sometimes you just kind of have to. And in the case of today's episode, uh, yeah, that, that, that was that. But guys, next episode onwards, we're going to be back to normal, nice and sprightly. Everything's going to be fantastic. We can get some more bosses going, finally defeat Plantera, get some various other bits and bobs. And guys, at the very least, what we have managed to do is teleportation. Yeah! I love it, man! It's so fantastic! But guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, do be sure to drop a big fat thumbs up. If you're excited for more stuff to come on the channel, uh, you know, non-Terraria or Terraria, then a big thumbs up would be very, very much appreciated, my friends. Your support throughout this channel, throughout the entire time I've done Terraria, has been super appreciated. And honestly, I can't thank you guys enough. So thank you very, very much. But guys... Hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content. And that is just about going to wrap it up. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode.